The Sikha we will learn is from the Sikha Schede Kitches, the fourth Sikha of Parshas Kayach. The Shaykh to the mitzvah to Shmiras Migdash, the Kayanim Novim, concerning the mitzvah of watching or guarding the Besa Migdash through the Kayanim Novim, a welcome is Nisabegivod and Nunta said that were, we were commanded in this week's Parsha and Parshas Kayach, which means that there was a mitzvah written in Parshas Kayach that there are certain places in the Beis Amigdash that you have to have, we call them guards, or return to watching. And as the Rambam says, it's not because we're guarding it from thieves or robbers that might come in and break in and we have to watch it, but it is for COVID of the Beis Amigdash. And as the Rambam says, It's not the same if you have a palace that has guards, a palace that doesn't have guards. It gives it more COVID. So Lapel Mamish, there had to be different places where you had to have guards, groups of people standing. And these guards were Kenim and Levim. And Zog the Mishnah Midas, the Mishnah says in the beginning of the Sikh of Midas, Ishlesha became a Kayanim Shemrim, the Beis Amigdash. There were three places in the Beis Amigdash where the Kayanim were the guards or the watchmen. And the Levim, Basin Vechad Motim, the Levim were there by 20 in 21 places. And when he gives a list of which the places were, it says in the Mishnah, Chamisho al Chamisha Shavei Halazare. There were five posts, so to speak. And the five posts, five gates of the Azare. There were other places also. But five of the 21 places that we said that the Levine watched is five gates of the Azare. So there were groups of Levine in these five posts and the five gates of the Azare. So from this, it seems that there were five gates in the Azorah. The Azorah is when you come into the Azorah, there are only five gates, five entrances. In the Mishnah state, in the further Mishnah, in the Sikhta Midas, it says, state over, Shiva Shorim Hoi Azorah. The Azorah had seven gates. The Mishnah even counts them individually, what the seven gates were, where they were. As I give it, Nidcha no Shiva Shorim. So it seems like it wasn't five gates that they were in the Azorah. But there were seven gates. So it seems like a contradiction. Here it says there were five gates because it says there were five posts where the Levine watched, like the five gates of the Azara. Seemingly, there were only five gates. And the second mission says there were seven gates. This is a Kasha the Gemara asks. If their Kasha answers the Gemara, this Kasha the Gemara answers straight to Rutsin, two answers. Omar Abaya Abaya said, from the Shiva Shorim Shimur. Really, there were seven gates. Even the one that says that he watched only in five places, it doesn't mean there were only five gates. There were, he agrees there were seven gates, but they only watched on five gates out of the seven. And the far zog the Tana, the Shmir is not al Khamishu Shara Yazore. And that's why the Tana says that there were five watch places, five posts, and the five gates of the Zore means out of only five of the seven. And the reason why it was only five. Because three two of them, two from the Shiva Shorim, two of the seven, late Sri Hashimah did not have to be watched. And as we'll bring later from the Rambam, the Rambam gives the reason, because by the two places, the other two of the seven of the Azara, there were Kayanim there. So they didn't need a special watching by the Levim. So the first title says, there's no contradiction. Everyone agrees there were seven gates, but only five out of the, out of the seven the Levim watched. And the other two of the seven did not, did not need to be watched. This is one terrace. Rav Omar, Rav says, Tanoi. Rav says, it's an argument. One Tana says there were seven. The Tana from the later mission says there were seven gates by the Azorah. And the Tana of this mission holds there were only five. There's a Machlaikis. The Rambam, Yada Chazoka, bring the Rav from the mission. The Rambam brings both missions. In other words, obviously, the fact that he brings both Mishnahs means there is no machlaikas between the two Mishnahs. Because if it be a machlaikas, it can't be brought. So the Ramah says like this. Number one, he says, Shiva Shorim Hoyelo. He says there were seven gates, like the second Mishnah. And then he says, Where did the Levim watch? And five gates of the Azore. And it's like Mesiv. And the Ramah says, The Ramah says, What's the reason why they only watched five out of the seven? And what's the reason why they only watched five out of the seven? Because the other two were called Shara Meik and Shara Nitzitz, but those are places where the Kayanim watched already. So there was no need for the Levine to watch. So the Ramam says clearly that both agree, we agree, we assume there were seven gates, but only the Levine watched only five out of the seven. Because Hayes, that means 
The Rambam learns with the Teres and Abaye. The Rambam learns like Abaye, like the answer of Abaye. As a Nitzim put the Tzvish and Tzvish Mishnah, there's no argument in two, two Mishnahs. And they both hold that there were seven, but this Mishnah says they watched only five because he holds that there were, they watched only five out of the seven. It's the Moab, but then the question is, why does the Rama pass like the answer of Abaye? The rule is that whenever there's an argument in Abaye Verove, the Aloha is like Rove. So really, should the Paskin like Rove? That when if you hold it, they only watched on five gates, it's because you hold there only five gates. Like the Rove says that there's an argument. Now, in the order nine, the Rebbe does bring that there are opinions, maybe this rule that Aloha is always like Rove against Abaye is only when it comes to Aloha. Here it's not talking about Aloha seemingly, it's talking about the first time the facts. Were the seven gates according to Robert? The, he holds there were seven gates, and the and, and and that's the other Mishnah. One Mishnah holds there were five. There's a machlekes. Abai says there's no machlekes, but it's not in Gail Halacha. So therefore, maybe here discussion doesn't apply. But generally, we assume that Halacha is always like Abaye against a Rabbi against Abaye. So why does the Raman Paskin like Abaye that there were definitely without a question seven gates, which means even the first time holds there were seven gates. He only holds that out of the seven, only five were watched. Because the other two did not meet, so he's fasting like the Pshat of Abai and not like Rabbi. That's a Pella. Then the Rebbe continues. In Pirish Mishnah, is of the Rambam, in his commentary of the Mishnah, the Rambam says, Ados was a state in the Mishnah. This is what it says in the Mishnah, Chamisha, 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 Shari, Azore. The first Mishnah that we said that they were they being watched on the five gates of the Azore. So he says, Is it Ladasa Tanakama? That fits to the first Tana. The Pishyesh Menatanoim, Mishah Amar, because some of the Tanoim, one of the Tanoim said, Chamisha Sharem Hoi Lazarus, that there were five gates. In other words, there is a Machlaikis. Some say, seems like the Rambam is saying that it's a Machlaikis. And this Mishnah, where it says they watched on five gates, is the Tana that holds that there were only five gates. Pishyesh Men, Shom but there are some that hold that there were seven gates in Lazarus. He does Rabin. That's the opinion of the majority. So if we pass them like the majority, it means that there really were, we pass them, there were seven gates. But the Rambam adds, well, that's a chachomim, according to the chachomim, that there were seven gates, there was the watching of the Levim in five of the seven. So it comes out that the Rambam Pirish Amishnais mixes up, it seems, both opinions. It's neat movement, this is not understood. The Rambam hey, tons of and Bistire, the Raman begins in the spirit of Mishnah is to answer a contradiction from the Shpeta Dike Mishnah, Shiva Shorim Hori Bazore, that there were seven gates in Azore. But he starts off by saying that Vishnu says there were five places they watched in the gates of the Azore. So the Rambam starts off by answering it in Teretz Merove. First thing he says, this is an, the answer according to Rove. He right away says, there's a Machloikis. As I said, Aplukta from Tanoim, it's a Tanoim, it's a Machloikis, an argument from Tanoim. In the Tanah from their Mishnah, how does Hamisha have it? And the time that this Mishnah holds that there were five. So when the Rambam brings that there were five gate, uh, places and five gates of the Azor that the Levim watched, so the Rambam says this opinion holds that there were only five gates. And the Rambam brings it. But when he's Messiah, he finishes off, Kishita Sabai, he finishes up like Bai, as Eichle Dem Tana, as Shiva Shorim Hoi Bazore, even according to the Tana, the opinion, the second one, that there were seven gates, is the Shemir Blaze given of Hamish Shorim in Ashiva. The watching was only by five of the seven. And that seems to be a buy In other words, if you hold that even the one that holds it was seven agrees that they only watched in five of the seven, then there's no need to say that there's an argument. This is like a buy There is no argument. Everyone agrees there were seven. And this satan holds that out of the seven, they only watched by five. This is not what Rava says. Rava says that there's an argument. He holds there was only, only five, this one. And there's a machlaikis. So the Rambam in Pirish Mishnah starts off by saying that there's a machlaikis. He says there were five places he watched, and this goes according to the Tana who holds that there were five gates only. And he finishes off, but even according to the other opinion that there were seven, they only watched in these five. So he starts off like answering, like Rabbi finishes off like Abaye. Muslim Zog, we have to say at the Rambam land, this is how the Rambam learns, and then there's no problem with the Rambam. Rambam learns like this, even according to the Rabbi, who says that there was a machlaikis Tanoyim here. Seemingly, whether there were five gates or seven gates, 
is the plukta blaze in Mispar Hashorin. The Machlaika says how many gates there were. Of a need to negate the Shmir of the Shorin. But not negate the Shmir. In other words, the Ramam holds that for sure they only watch five. But still, there is a Machlaikas, whether there were only five or there were seven, and this was other five out of the seven. The Tana from the Resh, the Mishnah holds. According to the Ramam, we'll have to say the Tana of the first Mishnah holds. As is, I need to give them the only five gates. But the Mele, the Shmir, give them the Hamish Shorin. And therefore, obviously, if there's only five gates, so the Shemitah was only on five. So the first time it holds, that's what the Rambam will learn Pshat and Rabbi, that they watched by five gates because there were only five gates. The Tanah from the Tzvaita Mishnah held, but the Tanah of the second Mishnah held. The Azog Befeda, she says clearly, there were seven gates. And it's over made but even the second Tanah who says that there were seven gates agrees at the Shemitah given Lord of Hamish Shorim that the watching was only on five out of the seven. Because two out of the seven did not need to be watched. So that's how the Rambam learns Shati Rove. That's why he could put the two together. Because when he said that there's a machlaik, it's talking as a machlaik. And the time of the Mishnah that says five holds that there were only five gates. But in the din that they only watch by five, it's even to the one that says there were seven gates. This is Rove, and this is how the Rambam passed. Nabaya, how according to this child, what does Abaya say? He says there's no machlaik. He says we talk about machlaik is klal in Allah klal. There's no machlaik at all. On Allah, everyone agrees that Shiva Shorim by Bazara that there were seven gates in Bazara. On Trei Menai, let's take a shimmer and two doesn't need to be watched. So according to Abaye, there's no machlaik. The first opinion mentions that they watched the five places because there were only five gates. The second opinion says there were seven gates and they also only watched five places out of the seven because the other two don't need like the Ramam says because they were watched by the Kayanim. So the Ulim don't watch it. So if you learn like this, there's no contradiction between the beginning of the Peter Shemeshnai is where he says that's a machloikis. And the second, and but he continues that he, everyone agrees that there were only five places they watched. Because the machloikis is only how many gays there were. So the Ramam maybe looks like Paskins that there were. Could be the, we don't know if he Paskins like that, but he says that one time holds that there were five gates and they only watched by these five gates, obviously. And the other town holds there were seven, they watched five out of the seven. But the Bible says no machlaikis. They don't argue with Khathila. Even the Tanakama holds there were seven gates. And when he says five, he means five out of the seven. The Mitzvah was the Rama Paskin of Bishmir and Hamishi Shara Azore, Shara Kane of Shemim. And this is what the Rama Paskins, this answers, explains why the Rama Paskins, that the Shmira was on five gates of the Azore because the other two, he says, Kayan and watch, did the terrace on Abai, which seems to fit the terrace of Kabayat. That everyone agrees there were seven. That according to Abaye, everyone agrees that there were seven, and they only watch five out of the seven. Makes sense. Because the way we just said shot in Rove, according to the Rambam, that Rove agrees. When Rove says there's a machlekes, he didn't mean to say that there's a machlekes whether they watch the five places and seven places. The one that holds there were seven gates also agrees they only watch on five of them. Drama Paskin with their Tanah, Drama Taka Paskin like this Tanah, that there were seven gates. Not with the Tanah was Halkan Isha, but not like the Tanah says five. But those is Das Rabin, that's the opinion of the majority. You're talking about Peter Shemeshnai, it's not like it says in Peter Shemeshnai. So the Drama says, that according to one opinion, he says there were five gates, and they only watched in the five gates. But nevertheless, the Drama says that we Paskin, there were seven gates. And they still agreed the fact that there were five, they watched by five gates because five, out, they watched five out of the seven. Oh, but the beer is Lachur and Tomoa. But this explanation, as ever says, is not clear. Since we just said that even according to Dorobah, there's no contradiction in the two in Yonim. Number one, at the Shiva Shorim or Yibazore, that there were seven, he says, and nevertheless, they only watched on the five. There's no contradiction, as we said now. Because the one that says that they watched on five also could hold, even according to the Rabbonon, that there were seven gates, they watched only five. So the question is, so why does Rabbi say that there's a machlekes, he machlekes, and to make more machlekes? As the first Mishnah, which says that they were watched in five places in the five gates, can it use coming with the Tanah from the Tzvaita Mishnah? According to Rabbi, it's a contradiction. It can't fit to the Tanah of the second mission of Azok Shiva Shorim Oiva, as there were seven gates. The Abai Azok. The Muzhalt must have a must be the five. Because according to what you said now, that Rabbi does say that there, according to this shot, that there were, according to the first opinion, only five gates. 
But what we're saying is that even the one that holds it was seven, they only watched on five of the two. So why do we have to say there's a machloik? Why can't we say that the one that says that they watched five also holds there were seven? That's exactly what the Bible says. The one that says they watched the five plus five short of a desert holds that there were seven, but they only watch on the five. So the two Mishnahs fit. They're not arguments. Why? What made Rabbi say is an argument? If we say Rabbi will hope with a, with a, we will learn Pshat, that Rabbi holds that according to the first time that they watch by five gates, because there were five gates. The one that holds seven gates, they watch by seven. So then obviously there's a machloik is how much they watch. But we just finished saying that according to Machdir from the Rambam, that even the one that holds that they watched, that there were seven gates, agrees that they watched only on five. So there's the no contradiction, like Abayi says. And if that's what Drava holds, why did Drava say there's a machlek? Because what made Drava say that they only, the one that says they watched on five holds, that there were only five gates? What makes us say that? Because it's, why did they watch only on these five? Because we said that Drava agrees that the one that holds seven says that they watched only on five because the other two don't need. So maybe that's what the first time holds too. What made Rabbi say that there's a machlek that the first time holds that there were only five gates and Mamela there's a contradiction to the other time that holds of the seven? That Mia now is Machmer Beilet in Pirish Amishnais. This problem is more stressed. You see it more in Pirish Amishnais, where Zog Beide and Yonim Bechodem Achsek now, where the Ramah says both the Yonim together. Number one, he says the Tana from the Rashi Mishnah Halt Chamishu Shorem Oil Azor. First, first starts by saying that it was one Tana that holds it over five gates in the Azor. Like Rav said. Then he says, as Eidli Chachomim Bazog and Shiva Shorem Oil Azor Halt and Shoyam Ishmael Chamishu Shorem and Ashiva. Even the Chachamim holder there were seven, also agreed that they were only watching five, the Levim were watching only five out of the seven. Well, the Chaura, the Balda Zeichot Dasa Chachamim Hoya Mishmar Al Chamisha Shorim, since the Rambam says clearly that even according to the Chachamim, there were seven gates. Their watching was only done by the Levim on five of the seven. If I was that when I learned in the Mishnah Al Chamisha Shari Azore, why do we have to learn? And Peter Shemeshnai learns like that, that the Tana who says in the Mishnah they only watched on five. Fits with the day of his halt chamishu shorim hoyel azore. Goes according to the opinion that there were five gates. Unit lay the chachomim das rabim and the should it doesn't go according to the chachomim, which is the majority. Vazog neshoy amishmer al chamishu shorim that we're watching by five. Pung for the Rambam alein learned to say for yada chazaka. Why in Pirush Hamishnais can't we? Couldn't he have learned the same way? The Rambam yada chazaka says clearly, as we said before, there were seven gates. He says clearly there were seven gates. But they only watch five out of the seven, and there's no contradiction to the Mishnais. So why does in Pirisha Mishnais the Ramam say differently? He starts off by saying that there were five places to be watched, and that's because there were only five five shorim, five only five gates. But he says, I'm gonna add to you that even the Rabban and the whole seven also hold there were only five. So what made him say in the beginning that the one that says five holds there were only five gates? If he himself says that soft or soft, they watched only on five, even if you hold there were seven gates. So why would he start off by saying that the one that holds five gates starts off, that's the first time that holds there were only five gates because he holds there were watched on five gates. He himself says that you could hold seven and watch five out of the seven. That and that's why I'm saying Akushi in Loshan Mishnah. So the episode will answer this by first bringing the Kasha in the words of the Mishnah. The Mishnah says, Shiva Shara Mahi Lazare. That second Mishnah where we quoted before says there were seven gates in Lazare. So the question that Rebbe asks is, without the Mishnah Rechem to his other Shiva Shorim, the Mishnah continues and mentions all seven gates. He mentions all the names of the seven gates. So the Vosir Ratana Magdim Shiva Shorim, why does the Tana give an introduction thing? There were seven gates. He should just say, these are the gates of the Azor, and mention them, and if you will see it yourself, there were seven. The Belosh Nashar, the Gibara says this question in many places, why do you have to give us a number? If we see how much there is, so why do you have to start off and give a number? So why does the Mishnah have to tell us there were seven gates and then gives the names when we see already there were seven? Is the beer in them, the pshat is like this, the Rebbe makes a big chiddish here. Those times when you find the Kama days and the gate, the Mishnah Hashorim and the Azorah, this is we find many opinions, how many gates there were in the Azorah, and we find in the Mishnahis. There was one opinion is five, one opinion is seven, one opinion is eight, ches, and one opinion is Yudgim of 13. So in simple pshat, it seems there's a machloik question. How many gates? What's the big mitzvah? The Gashim is the good thing. How many gates were in the Azorah? So the Rebbe said, "Is nitkem pluk the mitzvahs? It's not an argument. Push it physically. How many gates there were? People showed him as I'm given how many gates there were, and he gives like a, a, a proof to it. For him, says, 'Doch a klal, I say, nitchay ha pluk the mitzvahs. We have a klal that there's no machlekes in facts. So hard to say the machlekes is actually physically how many gates there were. So what is the pshat in this machlekes? Nor the kul I was I'm not given you'll not show him. We are the brach to the mishnah. Everyone agrees there were thirteen gates. 
Und im Achleikas was steht in dem, der Argument ist das, wie viel von den Juden gibt es schon, haben wir den Schad. Out of these 13, how many have a din of a gate? Which means a din of a gate, which requires shmira, which requires the watch. So, so one says, the one that says, I don't mean required to watch, that would be, a, I'm just, before we even get to that, the difference, there's a din shad. So one holds, hey, out of the 13, only five of them had a din shad. The other one says, Zion, seven out of the 13. The other one says, Ches, eight out of the 13. The other one says, Gimel, thir thir all 13 had a din shad. And Rebbe in the order here says that even in Teisves in Ksubes Dab Kuvov, it says that this is not a Machlekes in Itzias. Machlekes is which ones you had to bow. So we see already in Teisves this Nakuda that it's not a Machlekes. Everyone agreed there were 13 gates. Machlekes is in how many of these 13 did the person who came in had to bow down? So we see something similar to what the Rebbe says in the Pnim that. There's a din shar. There has a the Rebbe doesn't explain really here what makes it into din shar. But lopel mamish certain things they could have an opening and they have a gate, but it doesn't have the din of a gate. And therefore, Taisa says machlekes is whether you have to bow down by five or by or by eight, by seven, by eight, by thirteen, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But this is the point that the Rebbe is making here that. When we talk about how many gates there were, we're not talking about how many physical gates there were. We all agree, everyone agrees there were 13. Machlaika says when it had a din of a gate. What difference does it mean? Make if it has a din of a gate or it's not a din of a gate. The Nafkamina Zvishin the Shorib was some Adin Shar on the under Shorib. The difference between those gates that have a din of a gate and the other gates which don't have a din of a gate is Migate to come in Yonim and Aloha. It's Migate La Aloha. Many things. Well, amongst them, there obviously has more differences, but amongst them is this. Number one. As we said, in the Shmir of Samikdash, concerning watching the Mikdash. Nor the Shorim was Hobma Din Shar Dafn Hobm Shmir. Only those gates which have a Din of a Shar, they have to have this watching. They have to have this post. This is the post for the Levim to watch. But it's only if it has a Din of a Shar, because the Din is you have to watch, you have to set, put a group of Levim by the gates, only if it has a Din of a gate. In order 21, it seems a little bit a Svore would. What would make something into a din of a gate or not, even though it doesn't say it clearly? He says that the Rosh says in Tomid, since you call it gates, they were big. And each one needs its own shmire. So from there it comes out that the, the, what makes something a din of a gate if it was big? The Rebbe doesn't say that in the Pneum, he just mentions look into the Rosh, but it seems like he's giving some indication of what will make something into a din of a shah and what. Gate will not have a din of a gate. If it's big, it has a din of a shard. If it's not big, it's not. Could be that. But Lopeo Mamish, this is the difference, one of the differences between those gates that have a din of a gate and those gates that have, don't have a din of a gate. Number two, the gates of B.S. Migdash, when you walk into the B.S. Migdash, when the gate that in Migdash, through the Shaori, was Hobnir and Din Shar, if you own to the B.S. Migdash, through any of the gates that don't have a din of a gate, Kemazognas is Nikder of B.S. You could say that's not a normal. Of, Entrance and the din is your only chayiv if you go in the normal way. If you go in by uh, climbing over the wall or something, then you're not chayiv for whatever the din is. If you go into the Misa Mikdash by BS Mikdash for no reason, or with Tommy, whatever, all kinds of dinim. So the Rebbe says here could be that if it doesn't have a din of a gate, that's not called you in the normal. And Shenka, if you go in through the other gates, which are called gates, have a din of a gate, then you are chayiv. Another thing, the game mezuzah concerning mezuzah. Lule dem limud. We know that pale, the gates in the mezuzah in the misamikish is not need a mezuzah, but it's only because there's a special posik. There's a limud ma bay yishu chayil, but the gate mezuzah says you should put on the gates of your house. So just like the house is not holy, of course you chayil. When are you chayiv mezuzah? Only if it's chayil, not holy. You also elu, but the gates of the misam of the misamikish you don't have to have because hen kedesh it's kedesh. Now if not for that posik. It would have a din like any house. Every gate would need a mezuzah. So it comes out, well, given the din, it's possible to say that the din would have been, if not for that posik, only those gates who have a din of a gate would have to be chayv in mezuzah. Like it says, has to be a gate, has to have a din of a gate. So this is another nakuda we could say is a difference whether it has a din of a gate or it doesn't have a din of a gate. It's just, it's a fact, a physical gate it doesn't have a din of a gate. So, and the first thing we said was, what would be the difference? If it has a din of a gate, you have to watch it. You have to have the shmira of the Levine. But if it doesn't have a din of a gate, you don't have to. 
And the far is the Mishnah Magnum Shiva Shorim Hoi Razara. This answers the question why the Mishnah, when it mentions the seven gates, why does it start off by saying there are seven gates? We, we, we read it and we'll count it and we'll see it's seven. Now I understand. In order to establish, as not these even Shorim, not under come together with the Shah. He wanted to tell us there are seven gates. He's telling us he's going to tell us who they are, but he wants to say there is a number seven, a group of seven. It's a special group. What's the specialty of it? These gates have a din of a gate. You could say even more. Chazal said in the post that David should say there should be six six cities of refuge. And three were established by Meshur Abeinu, and the other in outside of Eretz Yisrael, in Eretz Sichon Vegan, Eber Ayarden. And then the other three were by Yeshua after they entered Eretz Yisrael. And the Gemara says, why does the Posik say Shei Shorim Ikot gives it six? It will be six. So it teaches you that when do they work? It's only it works for a person who killed somebody unintentionally. He has to run there to save his life. And he stays there. He's, no one could touch him. No one could kill him. But he wants to tell us that all six are one unit. And they only work if you have all six. In other words, when Meshe Rabbeinu established the first three, he set it aside, but it didn't work yet. But that we know from the number Shesh and Miklos, that they all have to work together. It's all one unit. As Isaiah Ben Yonayin say the same thing here also. Then Yitro Losh and Shiva Shorim Hoyav Azorim. When the Mishnah starts off by saying there were seven gates, is the Mishnah Marama. The Mishnah hints as the Alu Shorim and Eim Mitzias. All these gates are one Mitzias. When Eipes is Mitod, they're full of Mispah from Shlitim Shorim. If you don't have the number, all seven gates is Isaiah Nitchal the Din from Shara Azorim. Then it doesn't have a Din of Shara. Even the seventh would not have a Din of a Shara of the Azorim. But it's all connected to the point that there are certain gates and there that have a din of a shar and certain gates not. And that's why that Mishnah who says seven says that there are seven that have a din of a shar. The other six to thirteen don't have a din of a shar. So that's why he gives you the number seven. Also, could be that it won't be working till you have all seven. That's another extra point. Based on that. So now, according to them, what Rav says that there's an argument between the Tan of the Mishnah, which says there were five places by the Azorah, five shorim by the Azorah he watched, holds there were only five shorim. And the other Tan who says there were seven, holds there were seven. Maintain it up, look them at Sias, before shorim is on the pale. Rav and Nebuchadnezzar, it's Nukshat Nikibara. Rav did not mean to say that there's a machlaikas here. And the way we learned Poshik Shah till now, the Machlaika said that the first time holds there were five gates. We watched the five gates. And the other time holds there were seven gates. No. We're saying everyone agrees. And see, says no Machlaik, everyone agrees that there were 13 gates. But the Plukti is Vifufundi Shaorim Hom Adin Shar. How many of these 13 gates have a din of Shar, which requires that they should have Shmire? Those are the Tanah from the Reshna Mishnah Zok. Adi Shmire is given Nora Hamisha Shari Azore. And the Tanah says, that first time that they, the Levim watched, their post was five shorim by the five shorim of the five gates of the Azore. Now we said, Hagamas the pales, I give you Gimel shorim. We said, the pales, there were 13 shorim. So what does the Tanya mean? Tanya mean there were five places by the, by the five shorim. If I was say, because the first Tanya holds as the Hobnor de Hamish shorim. Only these five that he mentions, these five gates, and when it says they were five, it means shorim adin shar. The Rabbi says that the first time, our time of the Mishnah, who says they watched by five places, holds that not there were five gates, but it doesn't mean there were five physical gates. There were more. There were thirteen physical gates. This time he says holds there were only five shorim that he said. That had a din shar. Oh, but the Tanah from the Tzveita mission, the Tanah of the second mission, Zok Shiva Shorim Hoi Bazar, there were seven. Erhalt Ashiva for Yud Gimel Shorim Hama Din Shar. He says, no, there were seven gates. What does it mean? Not that there were not thirteen. There were out of the thirteen, seven had a din shar. But may live the Allah for Anachiv Shmira. Therefore, if it has a seven, have a din shar, so you have to watch all seven. So the first Tanah holds that there were only five gates that had a din gate. So that's why they only watch by the five, because you only have to watch by anything that has a din of shar. And the second time the whole, there were seven gates. So really, seven gates had a din shar. So really, you should have to watch all seven. 
And those was the Shemitah given Blaze of Hamisha Shah Azores. And the fact that they were only watching by five is Valtrey Menayo Lexrich Shimur. Not because they didn't require the halach of, of watching. They didn't need to be watched. Why? Because they were watched already. But those make me as a need Mukhuyim and Shemitah. It doesn't mean that the other two of the seven don't have an obligation of Shmir, nor with the Rambam is mad. The Rambam explains, Shari Akeanim, Shemir, Mashal, Omeka, the Shara Nitzus. The Kerenim were watching there already. The Sayyid, it's very short, and I didn't change Shmurim to the Kerenim. The two short, my Shmurim to the Kerenim. In other words, everyone agrees there was the, the uh, 13 gates. The first, this is the way I've learned. The first Tana holds that only five out of the 13 had a din of a gate. That's why he says they only watch by these five, because only those that have a din of a gate you have to watch. The second time that Robert says, he argues. He says seven of them had a din of a gate. Now, why? And, but he also agrees that only five of them were watched by the Levian. But the difference is, the first time that holds that the only five needed had a chiyuv of Shmirah. That's why the only five watched. The second opinion holds there were seven who had a chiyuv of Shmirah. Physically, the Levian did not have to watch there because that chiyuv of Shmirah was already done. Because the Kayan he watched it. That's how we're going to learn Pshat and Rabbi. So Rabbi learns that their Machlekes is not how many gates there were. Machlekes is also not how many gates needed Shmira. Everyone agrees between the two that seven gates needed Shmira. Machlekes is physically. Why? Not everyone agrees. I'm sorry. Not everyone agrees that seven needed Shmira. Only those showed him that had the Din of Shah needed Shmira. So the first time it holds, that only five gates had a din of a shar, not a, all, all seven, according to Rabbi. And that's why there was only five. The second opinion says also only five needed shmire, not because only five are mechuyev. Mechuyev were all seven, but two of the seven were already watched. The meat vertech musbedos as mekem fregen the promotion now for Rambam. See if you have the This will explain another thing. You could ask Akasha on the Rambam. The Rambam says that they watched, the watched by the Five gates of the Azorah, and he says, Why not on seven? Because the Kayani watched already by Shar Hamaket and Shar Anitzus. That's what the Ramon says. But the Rebbe says, The Shmira from the Kayani, the Chniki Bemba, and Shar Hamaket and Shar Anitzus, if you look earlier in what the Kayani watched, wasn't by the gate of the Maket and the gate of the Nitzus. They're the base Hanitzus, the base Hamaket. It was by the house, the room itself, the room Hanitzus and the room of Maket. They state the Mishnah, and the Rambam Malay brings this mitzvah like Allah has created. Says in the Mishnah, and that the Rambam bring himself brings it. And for what say the Rambam is shana and shrayt al shara make it by shara nitzus. Why does Rambam change and write that the Kain, the other two did not need to be watched by the Levi because the Kain watched already shara make it and shara nitzus, but they didn't. They watched by the base and make it the base and nitzus. That the Alnar does understand it based on what he said before. Understand it. The mitzvah the Rambam matkish by doing this. The Rambam stresses as eir the tzvei shorim amadin shar. Okay, the Rambam wants to say that these calls it Shara make it in Shara Nitsu because he wants to say they are Shorim. It's not because they don't need to be Shemir. They're because they are Shorim. And those were the Levim and the Shemir of Zayim. The reason the Levim did not watch there is while during the Shemir from the Kerni, the base on Nitsu, the base on Maker, because through the Kerni watching, the base on Nitsu, the base on Maker, Zayim is the Shemir, the Shemir of Shara make it in Shara Nitsu. So the Malikli watched also. On the shah and you make the shah because they were standing not far from the shah. So even though the purpose of the watching was the base I'm making, base on it, but that took that already accomplished the obligation of watching the shah and it and shah make. So what the Kayani watched, but these two actually not by the shah, but what they did in the bias is already considered it was watching the Levi and didn't have to do it. Thus, haste, it means like this. In them, this shmir of a base and make it a base and nitzus and a koran In this base and make make it base and nitzus, there are two dinim. The chiv shmir of mitzadam bias. There's a chiv shmir because this bias needs as every base of tinas. The third place where the kerenim wash is base of tinas. So the bias, the room needs shmir. But also shaycha to the kerenim. Watching the room is connected to the kerenim. So the base and nitzus, the base and make it also needed the kerenim to watch the bias. The second thing is, but they also had gates. And the gates had a din of a gate. They had to be watched for that reason. 
since by the Kayan, you were already watching the base of making the Knesset because of their obligation, is but there is also a Shmira by the gate of the Meket and gate of the Nitzit. From the Levim, they should get after him, so the Levim didn't have to watch it. So, but the Ramam is telling us that they had a Din of Shar, and the Bemis, you should have watched it. If you hold, there were seven gates who had a Din of Shar. You have to watch by all seven, because everything has a Din of Shar, Din of Shar, you have to watch. The Ramam says by two they didn't watch, not because it didn't need to be watched. It was because they watched already in base Hamekat and base Anitzut that took place and helped also the Shah. And the Ramam brings here, uses the Loshan Shah to tell you that really this had to be watched. It wasn't not watched because it didn't need to be watched. It was not watched because it was watched by the Kayanim because they does have a Din of The only thing is in the order 32, the Rebbe asks a shtikul shayling. It's not a big one, it's a Tzorchi Inktsas, because we're saying here that when the Kayanim watched in these two places, took already of the obligation from the Levim to watch over there because the Kayanim watched it already. Now we know a Din that the Kayan is not allowed to do the Aved of the Levi. Even though the Kayan did their Aved and the Bishamik, the Levim did, but if a Kayan would go and help a lady do his Aved, there's a Loisase. The lady can't go help the Kayan. So here we're saying that the Kayan watched in Beisa Nitzis and Beisa Meket, that took off the obligation from the Levim to watch in these two places. So the Chura doesn't fit to that din that the Kayan cannot do the Aved of the lady. Now he said, sorry, it's not a real Kasha. It's a little bit you have to understand, but why is it not a real Kasha? I would assume, because that's only when the job is not given to them. But when Lechatchile is set up that way, that this, the Kayan do it and take place of the Levim, it's almost like it's the Kayan's job. So it's not the Kayan doing the Levim's job, because the Levim never got the job because Lechatchile, they watched it. Whichever way we're going to say it could be, but that's not such, not such a big Kasha. But Al Kaponim, it comes out here that, as we said before, everyone agrees with the 13. The first opinion holds that there was five because only five had the Deen of Shar. The other didn't have a Deen of Shar. But Abanan also holds the only watch by five, even though there were seven that had Deen of Shar. And the reason why they only watched by five is because the other two were already watched by the Ken. Pikol Anal is moving from us, Rovan, the Rambam in Pirish and Mashnais, Len. This will explain the sheet of Rove. At the Tanna from the Ersh and Mishnah, it was Zok, Hamisha, Hamish Sharazar, Halt me with the Tanna Shiva Sharamoy Bazor. Now we'll understand what made Rove say that the Tanna who says they watched on five disagrees with the Tanna who says that there were seven Shiva Sharim. Because the way we explain till now, it both fit. Agama Zech Late Svet, the Svet and Tanna, it is Shvira given Norab Hamisha Sharam and Ashiva. Even Rove holds, we said, and the Ramba, the Ramba Paskins like Rove, not like Abaye. Holds that even though there were seven Sha'orim, they only watched on five of them. So, what makes us say that Ambam saying Robert say that the first Tana holds there was no seven? Why can't the Tana also hold that there were seven Sha'orim? And he only he says they watch five because the other two didn't need to be watched. And not to make a machlaik, it's like before, what made the Robert and the Ambam follows Robert to say that there is a machlaik, which means the machlaik is whether the Tana Kama holds. The first one of the Mishnah holds that there were only five of the 13 that had a Din of Shar. And the other Tana says there were seven of them at the Din of Shar, and they only watched on five. And then there's no Machlaikas. But no, he said, Kuri could have said there in a way there's no Machlaikas. Why does he say that the Tana, the first Tana holds that only five had a Din of Shar? What would be wrong to say oh, all seven had a Din of Shar? He also holds, but only five they watched. But now we'll understand. In order from the Mishnah that the Tana Ben Gaalam became us to be Kayanim on the Vim Hamgadar Kitten. The beginning of the Mishnah says, tells us which are the places the Kayanim were to watch and which places the Vim had to watch. Because that Lashna Mishnah, this is what the Mishnah says. Shlaisha became us a Kayanim Shemim Besamigdash. There were three places where the Kayanim watched Besaftinas, Besanitzut, Besamikit. And the Vim watched in other places, and among the other places is Hamisha Al Hamisha Shari Azora, five by the five gates of Azora. That's what the Mishnah says. Does haste. That means like that. Tana der mont norbeg and the shmira do the kehanim the veis hanitzu to the veis hamekit. When the Tana mentions what the kehanim watched, he clearly mentions veis hanitzu and veis hamekit. That's all he mentions. The base, not the shar. When the nochman the redbeg and the shmira do the levim of the shorim from the razor, and then when he goes to talk about the levim, what they watched by the gates, zokter al chamisha shara ezor. He says the word five gates of the ezor. 
So this is what the Rav learns and the Ramam learns. If we're going to say like we asked, why can the Tana who says they were watched in five places also hold there were seven Shorim? Seven of them had a din of a shag. The reason they watched by five, because the other two they didn't need to watch, Kakein they watched. So if we'll say that, that the Tana also holds seven gates were there, and the Shmira is not a hey shari azor of Altaim and Ayla Stichtshimut. And the reason why the Tana says they only watch five, because the other two didn't need to be watched. That always come and it will come out as a demonting gansnit afilu bremes like the mchiv shmir of a sido of shara mitzvah of shara meikah. It would come out that the Rambam, the, the Mishnah, I mean, doesn't mention at all that there's a din shar of the mitzvah and shara meikah. We're saying the whole word shar means as a din of shar. So if you learn the Mishnah kipshute, simply flow, flow, flowing according to what you said before, he says the kehanim have to watch in these these places. That's bias. That's nothing to do with char. Then there's the Levim after watch in their other places, 21 places. And five in the Shari Azara. If the, Ram, if the Mishnah that Tana would hold, that really there are seven Shari, seven have a Din of Shah. But you only watch five out of the seven because they were watched by the Kayanim. The, Raman doesn't, the Mishnah doesn't mention it. When he talks about the Kayanim, he mentions, doesn't mention Shah. Base of Tinas. Base on each of them in the base on maker. When it comes to the Levim, he only mentions five of the Shari. He doesn't mention anywhere that there was a Din Shar on the other two. And the reason they didn't watch it is because the Kenyan watched it. But if Chal the Etzim Din, that there's a Shar like that, which means a Din of Shar like that, then I'm, the, the Mishnah would mention it. So from that is Mashma, as we'll see in a second, that the first, the way Rabbi learns that the first time it probably doesn't hold that they were Shari. If we're able to learn that the Tana meant exactly what he said and explain themselves, so we don't usually say that it's not exactly what he meant. In this case, you could learn that when he said five of the five Shara Azor, it means because there were only five Shara Azor, or according to Arpshat, the Rebbe's shot here, only five had a din of, of Shorim. You could learn like that. The question is, what is the hechre? What forced you? Maybe he also holds there were seven and the other two they didn't need to because of the kayanim. But then we have to explain what he meant. It's not in the simple words. The simple words, he says there were only five children. So Rover and the Rambam Muller, we should learn like that. But that's an additional word. It's also an important word, the Gamzaike. But the word the Rebbe says before is that if you learn like that, look at the Mishnah. The Mishnah, according to that, not, does not mention anything about the extra two shorim having a din of shah. Can you watch in the different three places and base on makes it and needs to base on make it base not shah doesn't mention shah by the levim it mentions only five so we're at the other two short him and that's a pellet to say that that's what the tana meant the far land rove on the rambam that's why rove learns and the rambam follows at the tana halt as chamisha short him oil as the taki holds only there were five and again doesn't mean only five the gashmi lays chamisha short him on my din shah is on the machine only five at so that's the that's what rove holds so when the Rebbe says there's a machloek, it learns like this. Pshat of the Mishnah, the Tana says that the, the, the we watched the 21 places, but they watched five for the five shorim, which means that Rambam holds it, according to the Rebbe, that, that this Tana holds that there were five shorim in, out of the 13 that had the Din Shar. That's all. There were 13, but had the Din Shar, only five out of the 13. And on these five, they watched. And Abaya holds, Abaya holds that really there were, that there's no machlaikis. That the first time also holds there were the same thing as the, the, that there were, also were seven showed him, and out of five out of the seven they watched. And that's what the Rabbanon also holds. Rabbanon holds the seven showed him, but he also agreed that there were no machlaikis here. But according to that, it means that the Tanakama also holds that there were seven gates that had a din of Shad. And Rabbi doesn't like that shot. Rabbi will hold the Ramapaskans, like Rabbi against Abaya, that if that would be, it would have been mentioned someplace that there were other two shorim. Since it's not mentioned, Asimah, these are not shorim. They don't have a din of shar. When the river in Sefer Ayad, with the Ramah Zogdam Sakaloch, with Das Rabbi, in Yad, in Sefer Rambam, where he paskans, Ahaloch, like the majority, like the Rabbanon, Ashiva Shorim Hoyolo, there were seven gates, which we seven of them had a din of a gate. Is a medayek ados was the shmir is not a chamisha shar azor. That's why medayek. Why did they talk to only watch on five of the gates of the azor? Is val the shmir from the keanim 
because of watching the Kayan, there is neat nerve of base Hanitza to base Hamaker. It's not only in the two places to watch the base Hanitza to make it. With the day for Tanakama, like Tanakama holds, but they only watch the bias and not the Shorin. And they didn't need to watch the Shorin because those Shorin were not Shorin according to the Tanakama, but he holds according to the Rabbonim that they were also Shorin and they also needed to be watched. Why weren't they watched? Because the Kayan watched it on the base Hanitza base Hamaker. And Badera Hamaker, well, since they watched the base Hanitza the base Hamaker, so they all, also this help with Shmir, Eich HaShara Meikah, the Shara Nitzah, also on the Shorin. So everything Mamish fits. So it's a new, Mamish, a new shot in the Gemara of what the Machlech is between Abai and Rabbi is shot in the Mishnah.